What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with a heavy Ice Rider Calyx Trick Room team for ranked Regulation G. Now this team stands out to me considering it has two off meta Pokemon. Rocking out with Hariyama, and on top of that, we got ourselves Choice Band Titar. So it should be a fun one. We should be able to rock out in Trick Room and grab some wins for you guys. But Ice Rider Calyx is going to get us started with today's team preview in the top left hand corner. Rocking as one ability and the clear amulet as this item. It's got Glacial Lance, Terror Blast with Electric Terror Type, Trick Room, and Protect. Now, Ice Rider Calyx is our only Trick Room setter, so we're going to have to protect it really well with Hari Amma's Fake Out and Clefairy's Follow Me to get up that Trick Room. Speaking of Clefairy, we got it in our second slot with Friend Guard and the Focus Sash as item. It's got Follow Me, Endeavor, which can work really well with the Focus Sash as item, Misty Terrain, and Protect for its final move. We got Hariyama, like I already mentioned, with Coaching, Close Combat, Fake Out, and Wide Guard. I really do like this Hariyama build right here because we can pair it up with Calyrex, Fake Out, set up Trick Room, and then start coaching away on the Calyrex, giving it a free plus one attack and plus one defense boost. Our final three Pokemon on today's team feature Ursaluna, Titar, and Amoongus. Amoongus there to put Pokemon to sleep, Rage Powder away. Ursaluna is a great big time heavy hitter in the Trick Room, and same thing goes with Titar with that Choice Ban. It's got a great move set of Rock Slide, Knock Off, High Horsepower, and Stone Edge. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this off meta Ice Rider Calyrex team. So, guys, we're hopping into our first match. We're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team. So, pretty similar squad here. They got Ice Rider Calyrex with the Moongits. Barang is going to set the Trick Room for the more. They got Incineroar with Intimidate. Then they got Iron Hands and Storm Drain Gastron, who I don't think they are going to bring. But you never know. You never know. But for a good lead for us, I think Hariyama is going to be great. We got the Covert Cloak. We can always coach up. We can also go into Calyrex with this lead. I honestly don't mind it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Calyrex. I'm going to also go in with Hariyama. If he wants to go into Intimidate with Incineroar, that's no big deal. I got Clear Amulet. And then for this Hariyama, we can just sit there and use moves like Wide Guard, Coaching, all that good stuff. So I do like this Pokemon here. I do like this Pokemon. In the back end, we could go in with Titar. Titar speed should be mediocre right i mean it's actually really low this is a heavy trick room team but i do like it considering we are going up against trick room pokemon so i think going into titar is going to be a good idea for us so i'm gonna go titar and then last but not least do we go in with support or do we go in with more of a heavy hitter such as ursa luna that's the real question ursa luna or amoongus i think there are two options here i like amoongus for sport purposes all that good stuff but ursa luna is going to be great just because of how hard it hits I'm gonna go in with Ursaluna here. We're rocking out with Ursaluna. Actually, do you have Ghost or Water Terror type? You do, but I have three seconds to pick. Water Terror type would have been really good if I could save it, because then you could tear it into water while uh, Calyrex goes for a Glacial Lance. You're able to soak up a lot of shots, put them to sleep, and just go from there. But this should be a close matchup here. Let's see how they end up playing this one, and let's see who they lead, because I think they're gonna lead in Sinor, which could be rather annoying. And yeah, they are going to lead in Cinnamor, alongside Bronsong. And to be honest, you can set up Trick Room if you want. Go ahead, set up Trick Room. I'm not even going to fake you out. I'm not even going to fake you out. I'm going to allow you to set up Trick Room. I'm going to allow you to set up Trick Room because you're faking me out. You are going to fake me out. And you can just fake out my Ice Rider Calyrex if that's the, that's the play. Because I'm going to go for a coach here, boost my defense, boost my attack. And honestly, let's just try to throw a Glacial Lance. Let's see how much damage it does. Because I don't want to use my Terra here. I really don't want to use my Terra. <clears throat> so they're going to fake out the Hariyama. That's fine. I get off a free Glacial Lance. Are you popping Trick Room is the real question. That is the real question. Are you popping Trick Room? And I got Cover Cloak, which is gorgeous. Cover Cloak, we still get the coaching off. We get that attack. And more importantly, we get that defense boost up against a few physical attackers. But he's going to go for Iron Defense. Are we still going to just bulk up here? That's looking a little scary. I think I'm just going to keep coaching. I think I'm gonna just keep constantly coaching here. So let's go for another coach here. Let's go for a Glacial Lance again. Let's just keep boosting. Let's just keep boosting. I could pop a Trick Room. But I think speed's kind of in our favor, is it? Or maybe not. Do I pop the Trick Room? Bronzong's actually slower than us right now. Let's just let's just coach and go for another Glacial Lance here. I'm cool with this. We'll see a Terra pop out here from who? Who's getting a Terra type? Could be Incineroar. It's gonna be Bronzong. So Bronzong is gonna hit the Terra button. It's gonna go straight fire. So with Iron Defense, it goes straight fire. I mean, you could go for maybe like a body press here, but 
What are you really gonna do here? He's gonna go for a knockoff. Maybe I should have terrestrialized my Calyrex, but I think we're fine. You're gonna knock off my clear ammo. No big deal. Glacial Lance is still gonna fly through here. Plus one on attack now and doing some nice damage all around. Coaching's gonna pop out here again. We get that defense plus that attack boost. All right, I don't mind that. I do not mind that. I do not mind that. So from here, he ends up popping a Trick Room. That's fine by me. Do I swap Hariyama here? That's the real question. Do I swap Hariyama and maybe just go into like T-Tar? Could be good. Because most likely you're going for a knockoff here. And I could potentially go, just go into T-Tar. Or I could go into Ursaluna. Who's slower? Who is slower? I actually want to see your speed. 159. Or that's 59. You're actually really slow, Ursaluna. Do I bring out Ursaluna here? I kind of feel like I should and just save the fake out in the wide guard Pokemon for the back end. This could be really good for us. Yeah, I'm going to swap an Ursaluna. Is this Calyrex as slow as it possibly can be? I think so. That's a slow Calyrex. That means Ur this Ursaluna can outspeed their Ursaluna. So, yeah. I'm going to hard swap you. And I'm just going to protect my Calyrex this turn. Because you might hard swap your Incineroar too, let's be honest here. Let's be honest. I could have just went for a close combat, but again, we're minus one. I just think protecting here is a play. So, I'm just going to protect Calyrex. We're going to swap into Ursaluna. They might double down into the Calyrex at this point, let's be honest. And yeah, they're going to go for a body press here. A nice, lovely body press is going to fly out here. So, body press, you're going to go for a knockoff here as well. Then you go for a parting shot, which sucks, man. Chill! Parting shot, really? Parting shot? So, you go for the parting shot. Um, I think I might just try to get rid of Bronze on here with like a Blood Moon. And see what their Calyrex wants to do, because we're plus two. And we know they're going into Calyrex here. We know that they are going into Calyrex. Yeah, they end up going into Calyrex. Um, what's my play? Do I Hyper Voice across the board here? No berries allowed here. Our defense is rather high. You could be going for a body press, which is looking a little scary. Um, I am just going to Terrasalize and throw a Hyper Voice. On top of that, we're throwing a Glacial Lance. Let's do it. They got a lot of... Their, their typing is just so perfect up against mine. Or at least my Calyrex right here. Because my Calyrex is sitting plus two on defense. And plus two on physical attack. And it's really not doing that much damage. Considering their typing is just phenomenal up against my Calyrex. I could obviously go into Terra with that. And then go into like... A uh... A uh... What is it? A Terra Blast. But it's just not the play. So their body press is really doing no damage to me. Nice damage output from our Hyper Voice Plus. Collision Lance isn't going to do as much damage. My Calyrex should soak rather well, which it does. It's beautiful. We love that. And we'll just send a Collision Lance their way. Awesome. Dope. Cool. Nice damage all around. So that's solid damage. So from here, they're probably going to go into Incineroar here, and they're probably just going to fake out my Ice Rider Calyrex. Let's be honest here. They're probably going to go and fake out my Ice Rider Calyrex, which is, which is fine. I mean, I think we still attack with, with Ice Rider Calyrex. I think we still attack. I think we try to get rid of Incineroar and we try to get rid of Ice Rider Calyrex. Yeah, I think we just go... Actually, Hyper Voice should do enough damage. It should do enough damage. Yeah, I'm gonna try to trust that Hyper Voice does enough damage to KO that. So I'm gonna do that, and honestly, I'm just gonna double down with Glacial Lance. If you fake me out, you fake me out. No big deal. I don't want to protect and really throw in the match. See? They are faking out Ursaluna. Which is totally fine. We're going to flinch. She's going to go for Glacial Lance. Actually, we actually outspeed. Can we pick up KO onto their Calyrex? We do. Beautiful. So now I'm sitting plus four. I'm sitting plus four on attack. I believe plus four, right? Because we were plus two. They intimidated us. But then we got the Chilling Nae boost, so we went back to two. Yeah, we should be four. We should be four. But yeah, perfect place for us. They tried reading Protect. We were just like, nah, we're not even going to go for Protect. We kind of have the upper hand here. Let's just keep spamming moves. But this is a big time place for us. Hariyama clutching up for us. Faking out, coaching, all that good stuff. But they're just going to go into Iron Hands here. I'm going to throw an Earth Power. And on top of that, let me make sure my calculations were correct. Yeah, we're seeing plus four. So I'm just going to throw another Glacial Lance. GG to our opponent. They probably just canceled the match, right? No, they don't. They stay on the field a little longer. Earth Power almost two and a half. Is my Calyrex slower? That'd be beautiful. Calyrex, be slower, just so we can get the sweep. We do get the sweep. We love it. Glacial Land's definitely going to be finishing this Pokemon off. No problem. Trick Room versus Trick Room, and my squad prevails. 
Moving on to match number two, and we got ourselves a true test here. Zamazetta has been all over the rank regulation G ladder, and it has been taking over as one of the strongest Pokemon. But we have one of the strongest Pokemon, Ice Rider Calyrex. Furthermore, their team is rocking out with Iron Hands. They also have Shen Pao. They got Iron Juggles, who you don't get to see too, too often. Sinistra, and last but not least, they have Sableye. So two support Pokemon, and then four very big time attackers. Um, obviously, Ice Rider Calyrex, probably gonna have to beat our lead here. Nice little follow me could happen. And then go into a uh, Trick Room. Because we have to get off Trick Room, right? Do they have any way of canceling it? Maybe in prison? They could go into Sinistra for the lead and maybe just try to cancel Trick Room that way. But honestly, let's just go into these two. Let's go into these two. Let's try to get off Trick Room. We will bring T-Tart in the back end. And last but not least, we could honestly just go into Amoongus. Amoongus could be better than Clefairy. And looking at this typing-wise, I mean... Yeah, it kind of works out fine. Amoongus might be better than Clefairy. But they do have a Grass-type Pokemon, so... You know what? Yeah, that can support... You know, yeah, you know what? We're going to go... We're going to go Amoongus, Titar, and Ursula in here. I like it. I like Amoongus over Clefairy here. After looking at their team, seeing what they got, Amoongus definitely to play. Especially with the Water Terror type. We love this Pokemon so much. So, we could have went to Clefairy. We're choosing not to. We are choosing not to. Last second decision for your boy. But we're 1-0. and Would love to go 2-0. and Rocked out in that first match with a sweep. Hariyama. Actually, really good. I liked Hariyama in that first match. But they're going to go They're gonna go Sinisha alongside with Zamacenta. Now, Zamacenta could go for that Iron Defense. Definitely, most likely, the play that's going to happen. And you could go for, like, Trick Room with Sinisha. So, honestly, I'm just going to throw a Glacial Lance instead of setting up a Trick Room. I think that's our play, and at this point, we'll just go for a Spore here. You could go for Rage Powder, but Rage Powder isn't going to do anything to my Amoongus, which is good. So we're going to put, put Zamazenta to sleep. On top of that, we're going to hope that Sinisha is going to go for Trick Room just to try to cancel us out, and we're just going to drop a Glacial Lance to pick up a KO. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see. They could Terrasilize, because a lot of times Sinisha is rocking a Water Terror type, and it works so well. It does work so well. But again, we got Spore going. I love a good old Spore. I love a good old Spore. But we have Ursuline in the back end, which is pretty much a must, considering when you're going up against some Sinta teams, you do need a special attacker to really get after it. But they're going to end up just protecting Zamasenta here. And they're going to imprison. We're not going for Trick Room. We're trying to KO you here. So Glacial Land's going to fly. And this should just dump on you, right? This should just dump on this thing. And does Imprison go away if I pick up a KO? I believe it does. I believe it does. So now we can just go for a Rage Powder if we want to. Or I can protect Spore first turn. We have a lot of different options here. Chilling is going to boost us up. Good call for us to just go straight for the attack and move. Predicting them going for Trick Room. Or canceling our Trick Room. Trick room. So that works out well. I believe, I believe once you KO the Pokemon, the Imprison has gone. I'd be very upset if it's not. But Hydrogon's going to come out here. Um, this might be a good turn for us to just Rage Powder up, right? And set the Trick Room. Again, I could protect and Spore, but I think it's better for us just to protect it. And yeah, no Imprisoned on the field. We love it. So yeah, I'm going to go Trick Room here. I am going to end up just going for a Rage Powder. We'll play this one smart. And we'll go from there. So chances are probably an Iron Defense. We're hoping no Iron Defense pops out of here. But what I could do right here is just spam Rage Powder until Amoongus dies. Get off Trick Room and then just bring out Ursuluna. Or I could bring out Titar if I want to because I kind of want to use Titar. But honestly, Ursuluna is going to be better in this situation because I can just kind of get after Zamacenta and not allow it to just bulk up like crazy. So out comes the Rage Powder for us. He's going to end up going for a Dark Pulse, which was actually meant to go into my... Uh, both of those were meant to go into my Calyrex slot. So it's going to work perfectly. We're going to be able to get off Trick Room. Gonna be able to get after it that way. Um, do I terrestrialize my boy? Because you are going for heavy slams, dark pulses. We don't really like that too much. And I think we do. I think we do just terrestrialize electric. We just go for glacial lance. So I'll terrestrialize electric. I am just gonna put zombies into the sleep. Let's be honest here. 100% my play. 100% my play. And they just cancel battle. So a quick, easy second match destroying the zombies into team. Moving on to our third and final match, and this team is lighting it up. I would love to use Titar here and Hariyama just for more of a showcase, but we're going up against another Sama Senta team. So I think from here, Calyrex definitely going to be your call. We have to get off Trick Room one way or another. Um, I could honestly just go into Clefairy here and make life a bit easier. 
and just go for the follow me and set up the trick room. And looking at their team, that's probably our best bet. They don't really have a lot of ton of double hitting moves. They could go into like Fluttermain and Tornadus, maybe pop Bleak Wind Storms, all that good stuff. But in that case, I mean, we should still be able to get off Trick Room. I do like where we're sitting with this Clefairy and Ice Rider Calyrex combo. We're going to bring Titar in the back end. Hariyama, we use it in match number one, so we're not going to be bringing it here. I'm just going to end up using Ursa Luna and looking for that perfect record, right? So this is a squad here. We are 2-0, been dominating. We swept in match number one. Did we sweep in match number two? I honestly can't remember. We might have swept in match number two because we just they just canceled real quick. So I think that was a sweep. I believe it was because we just rage powdered our way to victory. We went for rage powder turn one. We went for a glacial lance, knocked out the Sinistra, set up trick room the next turn, rage powder, and then I believe they canceled. So I believe it was a sweep. I don't think we lost some Moongus. So GG's. GG's to our opponent, man. We're killing it right now. But third and final match, true test right here. Another Zamazenta to team. We already dumped on one. Let's do it again here. Let's do it again. They're gonna start off by throwing out Zamazenta and Ogre Pond. Okay, a little scary. I mean, follow me is gonna be great up against these two, though. I love a good old follow me. So follow me, Trick Room, 100% to play. 1,000% to play. 1,000% to play. I never seen a, a more of a play than that. So we're gonna go into Trick Room here. We are just gonna throw out that follow me. And honestly, I'm really hoping that they bring this uh, Clefairy down to like one HP. Cause that's the whole point of this thing is for this thing to go down to like one HP. I'm popping Trick Room. This thing now outspeeds everything. And then I can just go for Endeavor. So Ivy Cudger going to fly here. How much damage is this doing? It's going to bring us down low. You going for Iron Defense? You are. This is fine. This is actually really fine for us. Because now I can just go straight into Endeavor. It's still going to knock uh, Zamazenda down really, really low. Which is good news for us. And we can get after it. So yeah, I'm going to go for Glacial Lance. And for, furthermore, just a nice little Endeavor into Zamazenta. Just to bring him down to the same amount of HP as we have, 51. No, that's solid. That's solid. That takes away a lot of HP considering this thing is so bulky. So he ends up just spiky shield this turn. That's fine by me. Nice little spiky shield happens. We're going to go for the Endeavor. Bop. Bring him down to 51 HP. We love it. Glacial Lance. Probably not going to pick up the KO here, but do a decent amount of damage. Like at least half of this, right? Let's see. No, oh, not even half. Wow. This thing soaks rather well. Body press going to fly here. Body press doing a nice chunk of damage. Um, from here, we could just go into Terra Blast, but I'm just going to stick with another Glacial Lance. I am just going to go for a Follow Me here. Actually, I could just protect him. That's probably our best play, just to protect protect uh, Calyrex. And then just get off another Endeavor into Ogre Pond. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, and then let Clefairy die out here, and then I can bring out like Titar, something along those lines. It'd be really nice. You end up just going for a wide guard. Yeah, we're not going for Glacial Lance this turn. Hate to break it to you. Hate to break it to you. We're not doing it. Endeavor's going to fly here. Nice damage. Brings this thing down to 51. We love it. We love it. We love it. So we're still sitting here on the field pretty pretty good. Pretty good. And from here, now we can just go for Glacial Lance. Now we can go for Follow Me. And we're kind of hoping they take out Clefairy this turn, right? I know they just went for wide guard. I doubt they go back to back turns for wide guard. I doubt it. If they do, they do. I mean, they're going to take out Clefairy and then we can just bring out uh, T Tar here if we want to. But their waste out trick room turns pretty pretty good here. Out comes another spiky shield. Can you please just take out my Clefairy? Please and thank you. That's all I ask. That's all I ask is you just take out my Clefairy. That's all I ask. Glacial Land's going to fly. It's going to get blocked by spiky shield. It's going to do negative 6 damage to Zamazenta because this thing is plus 3 on defense. And Body Press is going to finish off Clefairy. That's fine. Clefairy did a lot of work. Endeavor going out into Zamazenta and into the Ogre Pond, bringing them both down low HP. So now from here, we could go into T-Tar. Um, Ursulina honestly would be the better choice here. But I'm going to go into T-Tar. And I might just choice in a Stone Edge. I might just choice in a Stone Edge. Or I could go for Knock Off. Knock Off's not bad. Nice little stab move choice band. Um, Sandstorm's gonna kick up, which is nice. Sandstorm kicking up. Hmm. Because honestly, how many turns are left in Trick Room? One. One turn left in Trick Room. I'm just gonna protect here. I'm gonna terrestrialize you and the ghost. 
And I'm gonna throw... Oh, man. I'm not choosing a high horsepower. We have to get rid of this thing. I'm gonna try slicing the ghost. I'm gonna high horsepower into this thing. I'm terrestrializing because we definitely need to pop another trigger. We need to get off trigger. I didn't realize we only have one turn left. This could be bad for us. I think you're gonna go for Y guard here. I think that's most likely what's gonna happen. I think you're going for a Y guard, correct? Is that a correct statement? I would think a Y guard is flying here. Let's see. Yep. That's a little Y guard, which is why we want to just attack this Amazenta here. The choice band move. Coming out here, high horsepower should finish you off, and it does. Beautiful. So we get rid of you. We dump on Zamazent. This Pokemon's gone. But now Trick Room's gone. Can you go after my Calyrex? Then you go for Horn Leech, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now the real question is, do I go for a Glacial Lance? Or do I go for the Trick Room? I think I have to go for Trick Room. I think I have to go for Trick Room, which is tough news. They might just attack me and take me out. Trick Room is gone. Bad news for us. I think they're just going to dump on my Calyrex. I think Calyrex is a goner. I think Calyrex is a goner. It's tough for us. We probably should just throw out Ursaluna there. And picked up the double KO with like Hyper Voice Terrasalizing. But now they're just going to go into Entei. Hmm. And they still have Terra. We definitely want to go for Trick Room. And honestly, I'm just going to hard swap into Ursaluna here. I want to reset my choice band. I really want to reset my choice band. Actually, high horsepower should still do, do some nice damage. We'll just stay here. Nice little high horsepower flying through. Let's see. They go for Ivy Cudgel into you. And yeah, Sacred Fire is just going to KO my Calyrex. Okay, yep. Good call. GG's. GG's. So 2 and 1 for today's video. Not going to be bad. We have one Pokemon left, but we honestly should have played this one a little bit better. He goes for Flare Blitz. That's definitely KOing us. Flare Blitz. I thought it was going to be Sacred Fire. And we're going to that. The smart place for them, um, we probably should just save our Terra. If we would have saved our Terra, we probably would have had a, a better chance of winning this match. But hey, it is what it is. I'll take a 2-1 winning record all day. All day long. But I mean, I still do have Ursaluna. I don't think I can do much with Ursaluna because they got Ogre Pond on the field. But we have Ursaluna. Hyper Voice maybe get some crits. Maybe. That's our only way. That's our only way would be Hyper Voice. But yeah, I probably should have threw out Ursaluna instead of T-Tar. But I really want to use T-Tar, so I got ahead of myself. <laughs> so, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to see an Ivy Cudgel pop out here. Maybe even a Horn Leech just for HP recovery. And then a Flare Butts. But we stand no chance. They still have a Pokemon in the back end. And they're going to Terrasalize here. Look at this. Going to go into Ogre Pond. So finally, they use their Terra. Just get that water damage boost. And it, this match has been over. I just don't want to. I just don't feel like running it, right? I just don't feel like running it. Plus, it gives them a special defense boost. That's why I said we need some crits. We need some crits here. <laughs> we need some crits if we even survive any of these moves. This Horn Leech Seed doing a ridiculous amount of damage. And then, obviously, Entei's going to do a ridiculous amount of damage to me with Flare Blitz to finish me off. Yep. There it is. So, GG's to our opponent. Like I said, 2-1 winning record. I'll take it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Ice Rider Calyrex with Hariyama and Choice Band Titar. Absolutely love this team. We got to showcase Hariyama in match number one, coaching up the Calyrex, giving it nice little defense and attack boost, making this thing ridiculously strong. Titar, we didn't get to really use that much. It was okay in match number three. Definitely could have been better. Honestly, we should have kept it in the back end and probably bring out Ursaluna before Titar. Probably would have gave us a better shot at winning that match. But still, this Titar can hit like a truck. You guys just have to use it well. If you guys want to rent this team, like I said, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.